Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today in the playlist of DFNFA Complete Guide, we will be discussing about a specific problem where we will be constructing a DFA which will either contain a single symbol or it will it will be starting by a single symbol or it the string will be ending by a single symbol. Okay, so let's dig deep into the problem. Let's see. Okay, so today our discussion point is construct a DFA for set of all strings with A. Okay. So there can be three things where the string is starting with a okay so firstly our problem is the string will be starting with a so firstly let's tell that in our alphabet there will be only two symbols a and b okay so from the starting or initial state if our string is starting with a then it will be accepted right and after starting with a there can be anything after this first symbol okay but if the string is starting with B, then it won't be accepted. So it will go to some dead state. Right? Because if the string is starting with B, it should not reach to the final state. Because if if, if the string is starting with B and it is re reaching to, to the final state, that means it is violating our given condition. Okay. So that should not happen. So if the string is starting with A, then the string will be accepted. After that, after the A, anything can come. Okay, any any other A's or B's can come. That don't matter. But the starting symbol should be A instead of B. Okay, so this is the DFA which will accept such strings which are starting with A. So there can be an another question where a string which will contain A. Okay, so it means that in the initial state, I mean from the initial state, if you are getting a A. Okay, if you are getting an A in any point of the string, then our string will be accepted. Okay, it, if in the any point of the string, if you are getting an A, then our string will be accepted. Okay, that means that in the first state, in the initial state, we can get multiple Bs. Okay, that won't matter because only B cannot take us to the final state. We need at least one A. Okay, so whenever we are getting that specific A, will reach to the final state and in the final state there can be any number of a's and b's after that a okay so whenever we are encountering a single a then we will say that okay our string is being accepted okay so this is the overall dfa for the given question and now the last part that is a string that is ending with a specific symbol a okay a string that is ending with a specific symbol a so it means that in the initial state if you are getting b's if you are getting b's that don't matter but if we are getting an a if we are getting an a we may think we may think that okay this is maybe the last symbol okay so this is maybe the last symbol so we can go to the final state in the final state if we are getting another a's if you are getting another is that means that this a okay this a is also the i mean here in this state this a can be the last symbol of the string Okay, this A can be the last symbol of string. But suppose we are getting another B. Okay, suppose we are getting another B in this state. In the final state, suppose we are getting another symbol B. So if we are getting another symbol B, that means that that means now in now in this condition our string won't be is not ending with A. Okay, our string is not ending with A. Hence, we will go to the intermediate state. And from the intermediate state, we need again one A, at least one A to get to the final state. Okay, so that means that whenever we are getting the last symbol as A, we will go to the final state. Okay, so that is the DFA corresponding to the given grammar. Okay, so this is a very short or basic kind of DFA structure making. If you have any doubts or queries, please put it into the comment section and stay tuned with Geek for Geeks. Thank you for joining.